Hello friends, welcome back. So in the previous session, we have seen different HTTP methods, how we can write in Vertex Web. So today we'll be seeing, uh, today we'll be seeing path parameters and query parameters, which are very important guys. So um, what I will do is I will copy the get customer. So I will have one, um, one web service called guest get customer but this time i wanted to pass based on id so this is what the path parameters so this is the colon and the name of the parameter we have to give guys yes. so now um, this is the um, static content and this is the dynamic so every time we can give a different different id this is the path parameter so in the path we pass as parameter right that is why it is called as path parameters we can have n number of path parameters so if you wanted to have one, again one more colon name like this so let us see one first so this is my uh, get customer so here i will be passing in the url id as well so now what i will do i will how to read that so this is the context object so the context object dot context object dot request then get param we have to give the param name so what is the param name here it is id so this is the uh, this will give us the id which uh, we are passing in the url so let me print this system dot 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 print line so uh, id is id so here i'm just printing it so uh, this i'm returning that as customer so this is a static content so it will not be useful the main concept here is how we are reading the path parameters in the handler so this is the handler got it guys so now um, we'll run this program and then see how it works okay <clears throat> one second guys i think my eclipse got yeah back so now um, this is the uh, uh, path parameters reading so let us run this program so i have been telling how to run it using the launcher i'm running so i have configured that launcher how to configure go to java application and then double click on it give launcher here and then here we will give the full package vertical name so if you follow my uh, video videos right you will be able to understand so guys i have if, if you are seeing this video as the first one i have created a playlist called vortex so it has everything okay guys so you see one by one all the videos and all this code i have kept in the description there there will be a link for github you can take that link and then get the code and then practice if required if you feel that it is it will be helpful if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel guys so this is i'm running it so bind already so it was running already so i will run it again so if you run it again what happens it is running an 8080 port right so again if you run it it will become you will get that bind exception so now it is deployed as usual from the postman we are going to try it it's a what what method it is it's a get method which we have written so and then get customer is the static content and then i am giving here one to three one to three as the id so what it should do now it should print me one to three here because i am putting a sop id is one to three and then it should return me in the postman response it should return me in this name equals to naive so let us let me send this request so it uh, it got the uh, result and let us go to the eclipse and see see id is one two three 
This is how we read the path parameters in Vertex Web. So path parameters, when we are declaring, we have to declare with colon. So which means it will treat as a dynamic parameter, path parameter. And then while reading from the context, we have to get the request object. And then there is a method called get param. So here we have to pass the parameter name. So let's say if you want to pass one more so name. So I'll read the similar way, but this time it is name. So here name. So here I'll again put SOP name is name. Right. So you stop this and then run again. It should return me. Now it should print me both of them. So this time I have to pass here name also. This time I'm passing name as Nayab. So it got deployed. I'm just sending it now. So if you see the result now, ID is one, two, three and name is Nayab. So this is how we read the path parameters. Next is we'll see how to read query parameters. So what I'll do, I'll create one more web service. So this time I'll have hmm, fetch customer, something like that. So this is my um, customer. So here I will not have anything. So this time what I will do might be you, you will be knowing what is query parameters. So I wanted to pass the parameters as query fetch customer like this question mark name equals to Nayab. This is my uh, query. So after question mark, whatever is there, right? We call as query. So this query, I should be able to read it here is what we are trying to do. So this, this code is for query parameters. Right. So now how to read that? So again, from context. So context dot request. Context dot request. So then there is a method called param. Params. See guys, the difference between this and this is get param is the way of reading the path parameters. So from the request object, there is a method called params that will uh, return me all the parameters, query parameters. So what I'll do, I'll declare a property called params. So this will be returning a multi-map. So multi-map it will return. Now this will have all the query params if, if you are passing one or many. So now as of now, I'm passing only one. Let us see how we are going to read it. String name is equals to params dot get. So there is a method called get. We have to pass the um, the query param name. What is the query param name here in this case? First, it is a name. So we have to pass name. So this is this is how we read the query param. So now if you want, we will put a SOP here. So query param name is query param name. So name equals to so it's a name. So let us run this and see. So I will stop this old one, which is running and running it. So this time I need to so fetch customer and then question mark. So this time, so what it should return me the same thing, but in the SOP, it should print query param name, right? So let us send it. See query param name Nayab. So now I wanted to pass one more. 
and email is equals to abc.com abc at the red or a at the red a.com okay this is my email how to read that again exactly same way so this one i have to give email so here email so i need to i'll put one more sop here so here query param email email so now again stop this and start again we'll see what it pens got deployed so now uh, my fetch customer i'm passing now two query parameters one is name other one is email from the second one always we give and let's say if you have one more and like that so send see guys i got both the things this is how we read the query parameters so this is the query param so and this is the path parameters i hope this will be useful for you uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel thank you guys bye bye